Going to read you uh, one of my pieces in Shriek 4 titled Hymn to a Rocking Horse. I am marked, ashen faced and timeless, in bitter bloom, rotten and voluptuous, my decaying lips hungry for the innocent and young. I am marked by the antediluvian sin and have a tryst endured, twinned with a macabre god, unable to stop rewriting him to age. I am marked by exhaustion and bloodied gums having bit into all the low-lying fruits and found them full of thorns. Two, I am crucified, nailed to wooden folly under the sign of the calendar. I have seen enough of constant change. My legs, eroded, are at best stumps, and so I drag my battered knees, my necrotic standard on shoulders slung across the tundra cold and grey. I am in mourning for hibiscus flowers that I used to pluck in memorandum, beguiled, and moribund. Three. But time there was that I rang out arias, stacked up symphonies, glad-handled poesies, rip-roared at full tilt through trade wind, railroad, tall ship, gothic bridge, steel girder, plastic gilt earth, that I knew the worn, slapped, quilted thighs, kind eyes, fierce and unpardoned nature of youth, as lover, not fattened leech and lech, that the fury was glorious and within, not spent foisting my second skin on the rose hips of the young, that I had a care beyond dirge, disease, and vice. And yet, though I do mine own self-rebuke, though I invoke darkness for the flower of wronged youth, comfort does remain. Live too long, and then you too will preach of Menead. You too will preach of siren song, and the limber, ecstatic, life-giving young. You too will chant for pity and for arms by schoolyard gates, waiting for the setting of the sun. 